So what we want to do first is go to our mat tools and do a garbage mask on this clock. So I'm just going to go to shape and I'm just going to start drawing a quick garbage mask. I'm going to throw on my mat key. Uh, you can cycle through these mat keys pretty quickly to high cons or whatever else. I like to be on the, the, the overlay. And I'm going to feather this out just a bit. I always feather my mats out. Um, and that's pretty good. So now when we go back to our color, you can see that outside is now enabled. So it's as simple as it sounds. Inside is inside, outside is outside. So if I turn off the mat and I want to color the inside, I could just color just the inside and it just colors that. If I want to do the outside, I just go to the outside layer and do that. So think about how easy that is. Um, now I want to grab just this red and saturate a little bit more. So normally you'd probably think, okay, let's do a key, let's key out this red, let's finesse that mat, and then we can go. But something like the hue shift operator is just so handy and so easy to use. It has your primaries and secondaries basically, and it automatically is doing keys for certain colors. So if I just take the red, because it happens to be red, I'm just oversaturating the red or desaturating. It's that easy. I don't have to pull any more keys, it's already doing it for me. And on top of that, I can just change this color too if I want to. So if I want to change this to say purple, done. That's it, we're done. Um, if I step out of the baseline plugin, we're on our timeline, and I hit play, it's real time. Avid sees this only as one AVX2 plugin. It doesn't see it as 26 layers that I just did, plus video grade, film grade, a hue shift, and a shape. So no matter what you're doing here, it's gonna be real time playback on your Avid, which is just amazing. So let's look at this shot. This is basically like an establishing shot for this whole film. It'll take place in one room, and this is the wide, so it kind of started here. The direction was make it feel like Botticelli, so a little golden look to it. Um, I knew that when I started playing with this, I was going to have to worry about the windows because they look like they're pretty hot already. And we wanted to focus on, on Charlotte here uh, as opposed to the whole room. And the other thing with this shot was that this piece of clothing that falls out of her hand was important to the story, so let's emphasize that. So the usual exposure... Contrast and saturation. I think that's about good here. I'm going to take this back down a little bit. I'm going to go to my second layer and do some color work here. So I'm going to just kind of shape it back up a little bit. Something along those lines. And now I'm going to try to attempt to do a little bit of color here, but I am on a mouse. I don't recommend coloring with a mouse. But if I can get it, oh, that's actually pretty good. One shot. So as I did that, obviously I could tell that my windows did get blown out as expected. So let's take care of those. Hit P for another layer. I'm going to go into my matte tools here. I'm going to go to the hue angle key. This is a hue saturation of value. Value is the luma. So I'm just going to throw on my key. Uh, my mat, excuse me, and I'm going to key out just the highlight stuff. I'm going to overdo it a little bit, and then I'm going to roll it back off to get a nice smooth key there. So now turn off my mat, go back to my color palette, go to my video grade, and just take that down. So that's pretty good. I got a decent amount of information back just by doing that, and I didn't touch anything else in the picture, which is great. When doing that, I noticed that this window is still a little too blown out, so we're going to deal with that. So it's as simple as copy and pasting a whole layer, or you can copy and paste just parameters here. Um, but anyway, I'm going to add another layer, P. I'm going to paste this layer. So now I'm double coloring this, which is not what I want to do. So I'm going to reset this operator. I'm going to go back to my mat, turn on my mat, and I'm going to say, okay, well now I just want to deal with this one window, though. I don't want to deal with all the highlights there. So let me go to add a shape to this as well. do that feather it out a little bit so now I'm just shaping out just that one window using the same key I used from layer 3 go back to my video side and I'm going to turn that off and bring down my highlights a little bit more 